Hello, today we're going to be doing standard 6.2, which is on scattering and tunneling off of a barrier. We're going to be doing problem 6.33 out of McIntyre, which states to show that the tunneling probability through a barrier with D is proportional to E to the negative 2QD, where QD much greater than 1. And to start off, since most of this is essentially just using some calculation tricks to get the answer, we're going to kind of talk a bit about tunneling and what happens. So this question is about tunneling. And um, basically, we, what quantum mechanical tunneling is, is when we have a we have some like mechanical wave function that penetrates into a classically forbidden region. And what we have this is essentially we have some potential well that has some potential v naught, and we have the energy of our of our particle or wave function is less than v naught, and then we have some barrier that or the well where it penetrates through it, the wave function, and that well the width of that well is going to be d in this case. So essentially here we're going to be talking about the tunneling or transmission coefficient, looking at the probability. What the transmission coefficient is, is basically the relative probability that an incident particle is transmitted through the potential well. And to get all of this, we, um, first we're just going to review, like observe the coefficients of the general eigenstate solution. So here we have this, we have our typical energy eigenstate, and when we solve the potential well question, so we're going to have a well that starts out, and then we have some barrier, and then it's going to level out again. And on the left side of the barrier, this is going to be the solution to the differential equation. Then there'll be the solution inside, and then our solution outside. And this is, and afterwards, we can use some boundary conditions to simplify stuff, but this is going to be the general eigenstate solution. Um, now that we can observe these ratios, we know we're going to want to look at the ratio of the part we're going to keep after the boundary conditions, both before and then after it goes through the barrier, because we want to know how much is transmitted, meaning how much is before and after. So we're going to look at the amplitude here, A, and the amplitude afterwards, F. And then we can take the ratio of how much afterwards and how much before modulus squared, and this will give us our tunneling or transmission probability. So we do this calculation, and we get 1 over 1 plus k squared plus q squared over 4k squared q squared times the hyperbolic sine squared of 2qa. And here we know that q squared is equal to negative 2m times the difference of e and v naught all over h bar squared, and k squared is going to be equal to 2me over h bar. And these are the same values here. So now that we have this, we can do some simplifications and also apply the QD being much greater than 1 to simplify and get this proportionality, um, this proportionality that we'd like. So we have our transmission or tunneling probability here, and it's equal to, here I just wrote an inverse so it's not so crunched in the LaTeX. So we have this here, and what I did for this is originally I just flipped it over and I also plugged in, since here, um, our barrier width is D, and in this case this half of it is, since we're going from negative A to A, 2 times A is going to be the whole width D, so I just substituted that in. And then now we see this QD where we're going to have to apply our, our given condition. So here I did, I applied the definition of the hyperbolic sign and squared it, and hyperbolic sine is equal to e minus what's inside minus e times the negative what's inside, and since qd is here, that's going to be our value here in the exponent, and that's all over 2. And now that we have this, we can apply that since qd is much greater than 1, this part of the is going to go to 0, because we're going to have 1 over e to something very large, which means that'll approach 0 approximately. So then we have t is approximately equal to this, and you're going to ask where the 1 is, and that's going to come in next. And since this value is going to be very large, since q times d is very large, this value overall is going to be very large in comparison to 1. So essentially adding 1 is not going to do much because qd is so large. So we can just take this 1 out, and then here we're left with k squared plus q squared quantity squared times e to the 2qd all over 4k squared q squared times 4. We can bring this 4 over, and then we flip because we have the inverse here. 
And then we're left with t is approximately 16k squared q squared over k squared plus q squared quantity squared times e to the negative 2qd. And this is what we wanted to show that the transmission co or tunneling coefficient was um, proportional to. And since we see that we have some value coefficient scaling it, we see that it is proportional to this as desired. And I'm going to note at the end that also that this procedure can also be replicated for the reflection probability r, and it should equal 1 minus t after using this. So that'll be it. Thank you for your time. Bye.